Hello, it's I, A.M. Seymour, except I am good this video. Don't question it. Anyway, PM by dumb luck was infected with the big thing YouTube won't let you say and cannot scram. So, he has gathered a bunch of voice acting buddies to take over his job for today, and I hope you all enjoy. Merry Crimbo. Serotonin. In this economy. This is it. We found the ultimate specimen in millennial humor. We did it, everyone. We did it. I have an overactive imagination. So that translates into fears of a lot of things. One of those things happens to be the dark. However, I, I'm extremely fond of cryptids, SCPs, ghosts, and, and any other weird creatures. Basically, if it looks cool, I love it. So I accidentally removed my fear of what's watching me in the dark, you see, by thinking... Oh, don't worry. They're just a friend. You come into my chilies, barbecue sauce on your titties, and disrespect my Valentina white bag? Ah, fuck, I can't believe you've done this. You're disrespecting a future US Army soldier. I think I know more about American Girl dolls than you. I've got the power of God and anime on my side. Evening, Grommy. <laughs> no, nope, not giving anyone the satisfaction. Today I learned that in 1508, Otto France pressed charges on rats for destroying barley crops. The lawyer representing the rats argued that the court's summons wasn't specific enough to his clients, and that Otto's cat population made it unsafe for his clients to come to court. The rats were acquitted. I want to meet the guy who offered to represent the rats. Business card says rat lawyer. Today I learned on the set of The Princess Bride, Andre the Giant once let out a 16-second fart and brought production to a standstill. Nobody said anything except director Rob Reiner, who said, uh, Are you okay, Andre? To which Andre replied, Who you know, boss? Legends only. Him crying the lack of a comma meant that for a full minute I interpreted this as him declaring himself the new boss. I can't take it anymore. God made a baby lynx without any regards for proportions, and I can't stop thinking about that. Look at this. His feet too big for his goddamn he! How dull for you to live your life without any hills to die on. You on your vast flat barren plains of compromise, acceptance and accommodation. While I reign supreme over the lush, rolling highlands of stupid shit I have irrationally chosen to stake my entire identity on. As someone who was terrified of having their own opinion, this is truly inspiring. <laughs> the hills are alive with all the fucks I give on select topics. You know what? I don't care anymore! I enjoy things, and I am going to enjoy things, and I don't care if other people don't enjoy things that I do! I do not have to defend myself about every single thing I have ever liked! I do not have to preface every opinion with I know it's garbage for it to be valid! I like things! And I like liking things! And I don't care what other people think! And now that I've gotten that off my chest, let me read the Tumblr post for you, Pat.